Hey everybody, this is Brian Cutting with Left in the Field Outdoors, and uh, today I took a trip down here to South Eastern Ohio to uh, Chris's place, uh, where he is manufacturing and making Buck Stick, the oh, nice. new revolutionary tool for deer communication. Uh, if you haven't heard about it, uh, you're missing out, and um, you will be hearing a lot about it in the near future because it's it's really going to take off and take things by storm. So. What uh, I'm going to let Chris do is talk a little bit today about all of the products and um, go through the different things that he has and then how you can uh, get those things available to you. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, originally it all started with the box tick and that's our bread and butter. You know, this is the, the product that you can take anywhere and put it and it's going to work. Usually, you know, if you're putting it in and around travel areas for deer, this just speaks that language to them as far as everything they have and put out for rubs and scrapes, it has it, and you're also putting that same gland that they're using on this product. Right. And I said, I know I have one of the original buck sticks. Mm -hmm. uh, since then, now you've added a, a vine, and like yeah. we've talked a lot about the it importance makes, of a vine. It just makes sense, you know, because. You know, they got the ropes, and they love to chew on the ropes, and they even chew on the leaves, but this gives them that stiffness, that, that something that they like to put their pre order yep. on, and, and, a, and a focal point, especially if you're going to mock scrape and, you know, do all that, so that's yep. what it's made for. And as we take this up, the next area here, this is for your forehead gland lore. Yeah, it's, uh, we call it the forehead strip, and basically, if you, if you if put it in simple terms, uh, it's, it's like those old Chinese finger traps as a kid, you know, as they're working it, it contracts and expands, contracts and expands. And what that's doing is, it's grabbing the hair, dirt, fiber, uh, and gland. Mm -hmm. So, it's like the tree that they love to rub, but times 10. Yep. You know, it's just like, wow, they, they love it because it's actually doing what they want it to do and really holds it well. So that's why the interactive strip is why it just sets it apart. And then, you know, you'll get more of that interaction as the, they get harder more. Uh, but man, they'll start working it and they won't stop. Yep. And then at the very bottom, they have this great, easy step in um, steel power yeah, cutter. Steel power cutter thing that you step into the ground. At the very bottom, you can see this. And this is for your inner digital gland. It is. And, you know, it's not. This foam piece, I mean, it's almost here as, so you know it's there. What I generally do, I don't even hardly spray this on top. As long as you're hitting the ground, because that's what they're looking for, that ground marking. Yep. So, and I get guys who are like, oh, raccoons chewed it off, or whatever, I need replacements. Really, you don't. You know, as long as you're hitting the surrounding ground, yep. with that inner digital, you're good to go. Yeah. It, it really does. I do that because it's a product and people expect it to be there. Yep. You know? So honestly, the inner digital, if you're hitting the ground, you got it. Yeah, and that's it, it's, it's great. I, I've been fortunate enough to be using one um, since like April. Mm -hmm. I put it out, it's been hit a ton. Um, they're honestly, they're, they're wearing it out and you know, they're just now starting to, you know, grow their antlers, everything else. Uh, and, and they're hitting it. And again, a lot of the action is taking place here at the top with these ropes where I got, I have pictures of deer that are actually just chewing on them. You can see these the ropes are real nice and fine. Yeah, they'll work them all. Yeah, mine are all tore up. They chew on them. They, you know, leave their scent there and everything else. And they're just, they're just hammering them. And this is the actual height, okay, uh, of the buck stick, which puts it right at their eye level right and their, their nose level. Perfect level for them to interact. It was a lot of R and D on that part, but it, you know, it, it, it's perfect now. You know, yeah. they like to look up just a little bit, they, you know. They, yeah. And that's kind of right where it's at, it's right in that wheelhouse. But again, this is this brings three of the um, their main communication, nonverbal communication, correct, uh, into one spot. Which I know I've been running mock scrapes for years, which is hard to do when you're doing mock scrapes because you have this and you have this does all. This is this is yeah. Perfect. Well, that's the great thing about it is 
you're not taking uh, all this gland and meshing it together. You're just laying it separately at the correct you know, height as with their anatomically correct. It just makes sense to that. So it's, it's like this interactive scent dispenser times 10. Yeah. yeah. And if you've never used anything like this before, essentially what you're doing is you are introducing a new buck into the area. And if the deer, you know, if you have a small area where there's lots of deer, they're very inquisitive about that. And right away they're like, whoa, who's this? What's going on? Okay. So this is a great way to, to do this. But it, I use it to inventory deer. Mm -hmm. um, my last podcast was about how I use this and trail cameras to inventory deer. And it, it's it's been it's made the work yeah. so much easier. You know, I didn't even surprise myself. I mean, you know, obviously when they get a hard horn, what, what you'll see is in the summer, you see does, fawns, and bucks. Mm -hmm. You know, they're very communicative at that point. But then what you'll see is as they get hard horned, the bucks will start working this in the forehead. And the does kind of back off for a little bit. But then, once the middle of October comes, you start seeing the does hitting it again. And then you start seeing this fighting in front of them, sparring, and then you'll see bucks bedding right down next to them. Then you'll see does bedding right next yep. to them. And, you know, that, that blew my mind. It, it was just like, yep. wait, we're, 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 we're conveying something here that we don't even quite know what it is yet. Yeah, I know I've had does come in and, and bend down near my mock scrapes waiting for a buck that's been hitting. Now, yeah. each of, and I'm correct, each of the products you get comes with these, um, the three cents, or the three, I guess you could say lures, uh, and they're marked uh, very easily. Number one is your uh, pre orbital, number two is your forehead, and number three is your inner digital. And they're, they're very easy. Think one, two, three from top yeah. to bottom. And I'll tell you, you know, one thing we try to stress, and, and you and I mm -hmm. talked about this, when you open it up, there's one thing it says right here. Proceed with caution and stop. Yep. Because it takes so very little of the gland to activate it and get it going. And even when you're going to reactivate it, Minding them out, one yeah. spray, and you know that's almost at the top end. Yeah. yeah. Less with this, less is definitely better. Very. Uh, the other thing I I would definitely tell people to do is when you're setting these up, I always wear rubber gloves because yeah. I don't want to leave scent anywhere on here. Uh, so I will wear rubber gloves and make sure that I have it taken care of. So this is the buck stick, and we're going to show you a few other things that uh, Chris has created since then. It's really blown my mind. I'll take that. <clears throat> so the one I'm really excited about coming up is the one actually that's right over here above Chris's shoulder right here. Yeah. This is the Buck Branch. This is a, a take on, um, you know, I was telling Chris, I used to go out and make mock scrapes and it would take me hours. I would look for the perfect tree. I would then get grapevine and I'd wire it to the tree and have it hanging over and I'd and prepare the dirt. Too, I'd yeah. take dirt from one scrape and another place and bring it <laughs> and you know this now uh, this buck branch you have your leaves you have your rope you got your vine um, you can take this and now it comes with an attachment you put it on the tree put it at about shorter level yep. prepare the ground underneath put your sense on there and you're ready you're ready to go yeah I mean it's just it's got that horizontal look that they like and it's got this branch and, and, and just again just like the buck stick it has all the elements that they need and want to communicate non-verbally through pheromones all right here in this little conglomeration you know and it's so funny because it's made all of this is made to hold that mm -hmm. so you know you're taking something that nature provided and they're used to using for years and years and years but now you're amplifying it. And that to them, I think, almost blows their mind. Like, I gotta keep going back to yep. this thing. You know, it's like, yeah. So it not only blew my mind, but I think we're blowing the deer's mind. Yeah, and, and, and it's one of those things too. Once one buck hits it, the next buck's gonna oh, yeah. step up and hit it, and the next buck's gonna step up and hit it, and it's this 
revolving cycle of yeah, gear. And again, absolutely. I have dough that will hit and chew on oh. the on the on the mock scrapes and stuff yeah. that I that I have. So I'm excited. I can't wait to get one of these out and get a camera on it. Uh, now, Chris also has. This isn't chapstick. Mm, it's not chapstick. This is uh, cedar pitch, and you, it looks like chapstick, but you would open it up and you would rub it all over your buck branch or your buck stick just yeah. to give it a more natural yeah, feel. I mean, from what I've seen and what I experience, and, and you know, when we all watch them hit cedar trees and pine trees, and I really think the sap or the pitch in that tree has a lot to do mm -hmm. with the communication because. As you know, if, if you kill some of your larger bucks, and actually out of any of your bucks that you've killed, and you look at that forehead hair, and it's all clumpy yep. and, and hard and bristly, and a lot of that is sap that's just in there. So I really think that has a lot to do with communication and, mm -hmm. and the aid of you know, putting their glands out. So why not we offer 100% pure cedar pitch or 100% their pine pitch mm -hmm. and it was not an easy feat <laughs> I would <laughs> say it took a lot of trial and error but we we, we did it and it's you know then it, there again their, their sense of smell is so far above and beyond ours that you know we think that we have to smell for, the, for they you know we can't even comprehend mm -hmm. what they're smelling here so you know, to us, it doesn't smell that strong. Trust me, yeah. to them it's strong. And that's again why a small bit yeah. is, is so is, is so necessary. Absolutely. Um, and like I so said, we and we talked about uh, this prior, just how they communicate and how often they communicate and where they're communicating. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you just can't go out and just put one of these up and be like, oh, the deer aren't hit. You or have to I just got my does hit there. Or yeah. Well, we all know they change patterns. So, you know, if, if you're on one side of your farm, your hunting property, you might be just getting yeah. all done. You know, because your bucks are going to be, could be half a mile away yep. doing their thing in their bachelor group. Or you might get lucky and put it right in the middle of a bachelor group yep. area. So, and then, and, and the ebb of flow, and that's always going to change, yep. you know, as far as summer to, you know, as fall comes in and, and the testosterone comes and the estrogen and you know there's so many factors in that so i get so many guys who are like oh i just got does hitting my thing mm -hmm. i'm like you know what the fuse is lit yep just hold on and you know one guy that kept on me about it i was like you know please just hold on i, I understand what you're saying but you know and he ended up killing like 160 yep. inch buck off of me like i I was wrong, I admit it, and uh, he said that buck was actually working the stick when I shot it. Yeah, and I said, and I purposely bought one for a, a new property that I have that is just loaded with those. Yeah. And uh, I have it there, and we, we talked, and said, because I know come end of October, November, that's right. That's that's where it's going to be. Yeah. Um, this is a pretty cool product as well. Yeah. You've got to pull the leaves away a little bit to get yeah, to the kind of it. It's tucked in there for a reason, you know, and what yeah. it does is holds the number five uh, dough and heat, well actually the November dough tar soil and uh, with seeds inside of this okay. and it's made just to hold it. Mm -hmm. Yep, and I said and it will be and you can get the different uh, beads when it comes time for seeds to put in there. And again, you put this in the ground, and it's at the, the height Correct. of you know where they would be you know, yeah. urinating on their hawks. And, That's and, right. And We've seen so many else. does tarsal marking, and especially around buck sticks, mm -hmm. we see it all the time. Or you'll see it around scrapes. You know, when they're coming into heat. You know, they, their body just tells them start squat marking on things that are up high. Yep. And what we've done here with the November dough tarsal mixed with the 10% dough and heat, we're duplicating that scenario, yep. telling these bucks that these does are coming in and they're coming ready and be up on their feet and move. Yeah. So, you know, these around your sets are just going to be off the hook come October. Yeah. And I, and I know for me, 
I've seen bucks come in and if I've had a canister of something up high in a tree with tar in it, it kind of throws the bucks off. Yeah, I'm like, it just how, not, did it, how did it get up there? It's not yeah, natural. It, it just, exactly. And, and these are the right thermal, you know, it's going to get in that mm-hmm. low thermal where they're looking for that, you yep. know. You know, I see somebody got, you know, urine, 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 and you put it in the trees and you, you blow it out through vents and bombs and, you know, it just, it's such a small part of yeah. the communication process that, you know, we're overseeing the big picture. Yeah, and this is nice because it's, and it's tough, to <coughs> it's vented, it's vented, so it can go in whatever direction the wind is, is going. Right. You don't have to worry about, oh, i got to put it over here because mm. you can put it wherever, wherever you want, so. Yeah. Yeah. But, and it's got the interdigital thing at the bottom. There again, just hit the ground. As well. Just get it, just get it around. <laughs> just get it close. So, so these are some of the great products that you can find uh, for Buckstick. Uh, and uh, for, for Chris, it's just going it, to, honestly, it's just going to take off. You've only been going for Yeah, we've only been out a year. One year. And we had a great year at that. And the results all across the country just blew me away. Yeah. You know, just being a year old, you know. So, you know, we ran, rounded out the product range and we tightened up everything we needed to tighten up on our end to be ready. So, we're excited that, you know, this year is going to be big for us. And, yeah. You know, I think within the next two or three years, you're going to see more things come out. To, you know, our thing is thinking outside the box mm-hmm. and, and showing that it can work and it will work uh, with just a little effort. Yeah. And I said, in any of these things you can find, you can go on Facebook, Instagram, oh, yeah. uh, YouTube, there's there's videos and you can yeah. find these things. Yeah. Uh, you can go to buckstick.com and I'll put a link on here as well. Uh, and Chris can answer any questions. Oh, they do a very good job of getting back to you uh, right away. Um, shipping still free right now? Shipping is not free. Oh. Oh, sorry, guys. But that is one of a killer. Right? Yeah. I mean, but you know what we did do? <clears throat> It's only eight dollars to ship one, mm-hmm. so we sometimes lose more than we we never gain yeah. on shipping. We're actually most of the time, you know, we're uh, beyond our four states. We're losing. Yeah. But you know, to me, you know, I don't want guys. Oh, it's so much to ship. Well, I'll tell you, take a tube down to the U.S. Yeah. Uh, or U.S. Post and ask how much to ship it. You'll be surprised. Yeah, because like I said I know for a while they had free shipping and that was that was yeah that was in the off season. Sorry yeah. guys. But um, yeah, so you can check these things out. Um, again, if, if you don't know anything about uh, using preorbital gland lore or forehead or anything, um, you got to get on and check it out because it's it's just the natural communication That's that you use. Um, and by any stretch of imagination, it blows using urines and things away. So yeah, in, well, that's not even on the same in, in my mind. category as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, honestly, in the last 10 years, I don't know if I've used much urine or no, anything at all. It's been all preorbital stuff and things like that. So, yeah. but yeah, uh, we appreciate you checking it out today. And again, uh, Buckstick, um, you can find all the stuff. I'll leave the link there. And uh, don't hesitate to ask questions of me or of Chris or hop on the Facebook page and ask questions. Um, they work. They, Thanks, Brian. They, they I do work. appreciate that. Yeah. Thanks you for having me job. Down. Thanks. Thank you. This is Thanks Brian Kreitlinger with Left in the Field Outdoors. Thanks for joining us at uh, Buckstick Headquarters. Have a great day.